the song of the nightingale, one of the most beguiling sounds in all nature. Its haunting musical quality has inspired generations of artists and musicians. The latest is David Rothenberg. He's a new age philosopher and jazz musician, and he makes the ultimate claim that birdsong doesn't just sound like music, it is music. It has the formal properties of music and, like human music, it's motivated by pleasure. But his idea that birds sing for joy has been scorned by scientists who favour their own more rational explanations. It's a fight between two ideologies, with science in one corner and art in the other. I think science and art work different ways when it comes to birdsong. Science doesn't have, you know, the upper hand in, in figuring out what birdsong is about. They have one approach, picks up on some things, misses out on others. I don't think David has thought through as to what the mechanism might be if his birds sing for joy. He's just making some unscientific declarations that uh, insult my birds and in indirectly, uh, you know, that bothers me. This is a leap right into the eagle's nest of disagreement and suspicion. We have some scientists who think I'm just an interloper playing music with the careful subjects of their research. Now, Pied Piper David is on a mission to show music is as important as science in our understanding of why birds sing. The morning chorus is just pure joy, really, isn't it? We hear that, we're all bursting into life. Like... You know, almost like a, 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 a piece of music, you know, starts quietly and then kind of builds up. You know? It's never going to be the same performance twice. It's pretty good, really. I love that when you wake up and you can just hear that outside and it's deafening sometimes. It really sounds like they're just singing for the sake of singing. Of all the sounds found in nature, none has proved as bewitching as birdsong. Dogs may bark and cows may moo, but it's birds that have inspired.